Hi everybody, it's Logan, and I'm here to do a review on some products that I have emptied over the past two years or so. So, um, let's get into it. Okay, the first products that we are going to review are some lip products. Um, this one is by BC or Beauty Concept Lip Gloss. I have two of them. I emptied one. This one I did not really like. Um, they're both really greasy. Um, but this one is like a hard candy lip gloss I have in here. But, um, as you can see, it's greasy. It has some pigment, almost like pinky pigment. But I just really didn't care for it. The packaging is really cute, though. Looks like, um, a vintage old lip gloss. Um, this one is... They both don't have shades on them. I don't know why, but... They just don't, I guess. I have my Christmas, so... They came in a little package. This one's just, like, clear. It has a little bit, like, shimmer in it. And it's exactly like this Hard Candy Lip Plumping Serum. I love this stuff. It's not as greasy as the BC, though. This stuff actually made my lips plump. It's... I don't think this has a shade either, but it has a number on the bottom. It's 2146. I don't know. I could look it up or something, but, um, it's very good. Made, made my lips plump. I loved it. I used to wear it with everything. Now that's out, I'm gonna have to go purchase some more so I can have it. My next favorite lip gloss is Mary Kay Fancy Nancy. This has a lot of shimmer in it. It's really pretty. It's like, I guess you could call this, like, peach. A rose gold, not peachy. Um, rose gold color. Loved it. It's very cute, very chic. Packaging looks really cute. Kind of like expensive looking. That I don't know if I'll repurchase because it's a little bit expensive. And I like my drugstore stuff, y'all. But um. No, nonetheless, it was amazing. Loved it. Got it from a friend. So, that's how I found out about it. This lip gloss is by LA Colors. It's more, it says it's moisturizing. It's in Clearly Said. I'm going to clearly say it sucks. I love LA Colors. I love a lot of their products. This lip gloss... It's terrible. I will never repurchase it again. I don't recommend it. It smells very like bathroom cleaner, like the toilet. It was clear, but I used to have red one time. I got it in my mouth one time, and it made me physically sick. Like, it made me nauseous. And I have never wore it ever again. I love their products. I have some lipsticks in here that I love. I use it. But I will not use that lip gloss. I tried another shade in it. I don't have the shade in it now because I threw it away because it tasted disgusting just the same. And I know you're not supposed to eat lip glosses, but um, it's on your mouth. So you're going to taste it sometimes. And I don't want to spend the whole day tasting nasty toilet cleaner. Now, Onto these lip crayon thick sticks. Um, this is by Beauty Concepts also. Um, they're really good. There's not much pigment in them at all, though. There's no shade on it either. They come in red, nude, and pink. See, that's the red. Here's the pink. The pink's like a baby doll color. I don't know if y'all can see it. There we go. 
But, um, they're not that bad at all. If I ever see them again, I might purchase them. But, I would like them to be in, like, different colors. Like, more, like, nudes and not such light pinks like cotter pinks. Um, now on to some lip balms. I got this at Sally um, Beauty Supply. It's Pucker Up. The packaging is hard to open. Like, I had to bend the top of this to even open it, and I had a little bit of trouble with this time, too. It's... I used to just shove my lips in it and all that, but it did nothing. I thought it was going to be like vom vo volumizing. I mean, it says pecker up, so. But, um, it just really made my lips clot, like, it felt like a lip gloss, and it says it's lip balm. I, no, sorry. But Sally Hansen did have this lip balm. It's Sally Girl Bright Tinted Lip Balm. I used it down to the little drop. This made my lips moisturized, plump. I get it. It's not volumizing. Like, it's not to make your lips big, but it just made my lips look good. I loved it. Um, I used to put it underneath my lipsticks. Like, dry ones that I knew that were going to make my lips dry. And it really helped. I loved it. If I ever see it again, I will buy it. I will repurchase it. Now, LA Colors do not hate me, but I have a lip, um, liquid lips. It says Pout Lip Gloss Matte. This is the LA's Col LA Colors um, version of lip liquid lipstick. I tried it on let it dry and it just stayed like glue like super glue on your lips almost it's very pigmented though though and it came in numerous shades if they re um did this i would love it here's the shade and after it dries for a while it starts to get sticky and I'm just not about that off it's hard to get off too which is kind of good but it's just stickiness very annoying and then when it starts to stick it starts to peel and when I wear a liquid lipstick I don't want it to peel so I got that's out now i do have some of their lipsticks like this one i have a few of their lipsticks these two first this one's an envy it's a very um berry red i love their lipsticks this is oh that's why i'm throwing this out They're very pigmented, very moisturizing. I loved them. I have a whole bunch more of their lipsticks. I always buy LA Color lipsticks. They're easy, amazing pigment. I never worry about them. So, some of their products are good. I use, like, some of their lipsticks as actually color corrector. And it actually stays and helps. This lipstick is the Color Workshop. This is old. And it's okay. I've never seen it. Anything by the Color Workshop place. But if I see some more lipsticks, I'll buy them. I'll try some more. Oh, here's another Color Workshop. This is like a goad. And it's very cute, lovish. I would, I think the packaging could do a little bit better, but hey, it's cheap. 
and it's not that bad. Uh, here's the LA Colors matte lipstick. LA Colors. I don't. I love your products, but what's going on with your matte lipsticks? This is like so dry. Like it's hard to even do a swatch. It's pigmented, but it feels like chalk. And you're just tugging at your lips. I don't want a lipstick to tug on my lips. I want it to go on like butter and look good. This goes in every little fine line I have, every little space, makes my lips have like dry patches on it. No, I'm sorry, but I love your lipsticks, just not your matte, apparently. Now this one's really old. This is why I'm throwing this out. Like I threw all this stuff, I've not used them forever. Um, this is in the shade... Well, it says one not not nine one one D. This is very cute. Like it's I think it's a tester. But it's very pigmented. It's by Wet and Wild. Wet and Wild. I love the little smallness. Like I could throw that in a little bag or something. And just have it on the go. I love that. Easy to put, like, I can maneuver it on my lips however I want it. Love it. I recommend, if you ever find any of these, small little bitty, um, lipsticks, put it down in the description below so I can buy some more. I don't know if they still make them or not, but I love them. This is by NYC. This is in Snow Cone. I love this, but... I got it, it broke. Love the color. I mean, absolutely love it. Cute, pinky, like. I don't, I don't want to make it sound bad, but it's like a ditzy blonde um, lipstick. Like, a stereotypical blonde lipstick. And it just looks so cute. I love it. I I want to find another one like it. This is by NYC also. Ultra Moist Lipwear. It's supposed to say it, it's supposed to hydrate. It did the job. Like, it's good. I'm trying to get it without breaking it. It's in Mahogany. Yeah. And it broke. That's the reason I'm throwing it out. And it's out. It smells like old grandma makeup. So, that's the only thing I would watch out for. My friend actually got me a whole bunch of these Clinique lip balm things. It's kind of tinted. Um,. I gave a lot of them out because I really didn't use them much. It has a little bit of pigment. It's very good. Um, if she ever had more, I wouldn't mind having some more. Hit me up, girl. Hit me up. This concealer comes with my usual concealer that I dip into and go with the highlight underneath. It comes with a stick also, and I use it sometimes if I run out and I don't feel like going to the store and buying some more. It's just harder to get this where I want to place it. And sometimes I forget that it's a concealer and think it's a lipstick. So, but it's by LA Colors. It's in the shade Light. I like it. I always repurchase more, and I always have another... I always usually throw them out because I, if I can't maneuver with it, I don't really want to use it. I usually just dip into the thing and just like draw on my face. Whew, and now this product. I got this off Wish. It's cute packaging. It's by Yen Kina. It's a waterproof eyeliner. And I got it. 
It had eyeliner all down the side of it. It still has some on it, but most of it rubbed off. Here's the tip. There you go. I don't really like it. It's patchy. And it's not really that black. And I used it like a couple of times. And it seems like it's already out. It's smudge proof, supposedly. Well, no, it's not smudge proof. It's waterproof. I'm sorry. But it does smudge, which I really don't want to smudge. Let's sh let me show you what happens when I have water on it. Spread some water on it. Now watch. Big liquidy mess. I'm just going to say this. Yawn, uh, queen. Nah, I got it from my show. I don't if you're watching this, you're a product of this. I don't know if I got a dud or something. It's not waterproof, and it really was bad. I gave it a bad review also, um, but I really just didn't care for it. Sorry. Don't be mad. Alright, this product. Yeah, I've already done a review on this, so I'm going to go through it really quickly. Easy to apply. Love them. We'll be buying more. If you want to find out more about my review on this product, I'll put the link in the description below, and you can watch it. Now, I have some more products in this bag. Something fell out. Oops. Things are falling over your back. Alright, I'm sorry about that. Alright. Mascaras, y'all. Mascaras. The label wore off of this, but this is LA Colors. It's very dry. Don't be mad at me, LA Colors, but I'm going to speak the truth. It was dry and I felt like I had no product. My lashes did not get any longer or voluminous. And it really, like, it pulled out my eyelashes. It hurt. I won't, no. Won't buy no more. Now this next product is Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara. I love this stuff. Makes my eyelashes longer, and it makes them hold. This is old. It's, like, dried out. I think it has some more somewhere, but I love it. I always buy more. If I see it, I buy it, but I will probably be trying some new mascaras and seeing about that, so I'll be watching and seeing if I have any more. Next product is this, um, Revlon Color Stay Foundation. I don't know what shade it is. It wore off on the back. Um, my friend gave me this, and it's completely empty. I absolutely love this stuff. I used to use this powder thing all the time. I got powder... It's amazing. I love it. I will buy more. Mm, it's amazing. I can't quit saying it. Because it covered up any imperfections on my face. And. But the one thing I will say. It's kind of cakey. Gotta use a light hand. But Revlon. That is on point. It's amazing. I love it. We'll buy more. But if you want to send me some, hit me up. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Next. Everybody knows. My Dream Liquid Mousse Airbrush Finish Foundation by Maybelline. I love this stuff. I have, like, 
two up here already. They changed the packaging from this bulky thing to this little slimmer thing. And I don't know if they reformulated it or something, but it is like good. It's medium to high coverage, I would say. Um, I was in, I got a way too dark of a shade. Well, I used to tan also. The shade won't match me anymore, and it's out. Um, I used to tan all the time too, by the way. And this is in medium. 2.5. Oh, wait. No, it's in natural beige. It has medium 2.5 on it also. I don't know why they did that. But it's amazing. I... I swear about that stuff, y'all. I love it. It hides my imperfections, everything. Oh. And every time you see me with foundation on, that's the product I use. LA Colors Eyeshadow. This is Ode. It's in Splash. And LA Colors, this is in Quality Free. So, that's a good thing. That's a plus. These shadows are so good. So pigmented. I mean, just look at that. It's like butter. Now, they do get kind of, like, powdery. So, all you really have to do is tap off the excess. They're good. Oh lord, it's not coming off. I'm gonna have blue hands for a while. Okay. This next product is Me Makeup Essentials. I never got to use this, and I probably won't, because I tried this. It's like a contour highlight, and I tried their lipsticks. It was horrible. I'm here. Let me just watch this. All right. Here's the highlight. Here's the contour. It's like nowhere, nowhere to be seen. Nothing. No shimmer. If I'm wearing a highlight or something that's supposed to go under here. I want it to be good. This powder, I used to have to scratch at it and get it out. It's so compact. I don't know what it is. These lipsticks, they're greasy and not really pigmented at all. Won't be purchasing this ever again. My sister gave me this, I think. No, it wasn't my sister, it was my grandmother. Won't ever buy that again. Oh, alright. That was the end. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't. Because I dropped two more products on the floor, I'm sorry. This is Wet and Wild Mega Last Eyeliner. It's out. I hated this. Won't ever purchase this again. Because when I put it in my water on, not joking, like 10 minutes afterwards, there was no black. Like it was gone. The smudger, I try to smudge it. It's rubber. And it just drug on my eyes. Oh. And just like. Watch. It, it just hurts. No. I don't want that going on my eye. And like, you know, um, my eyes are watering now. It just tugs at it. No. Tug on my skin, you gotta make wrinkles. I don't want wrinkles. Heck, I had enough imperfections as it is. Alright, this last product is L. I was going to say all the colors. This is by e.l.f. It is, I have, 
It's cover everything concealer. It's a cream concealer. This stuff is amazing. It's in the shade light. It's like two dollars. I buy it because um whenever I do like a crazy crazy makeup look, like I'll block out my eyebrows. This stuff is what I use to cover my eyebrows. It's that good. Like I can cover and be like, mm, it won't show up, and it blends amazing. I sometimes I use it on my skin. The only bad thing I would say is that it's a little bit greasy, oily feeling. But it really doesn't bother me that much because my face is always oily. So. But it's really pigmented. Like. Done. So. That's the end of this video. If you want to see more. Um, subscribe. Or um, like. And if you want to be notified. Hit that little bell button. At the top. Or where it is. This was fun. Um, I'll be doing a makeup tutorial sometime soon. Um, I posted the picture to my Instagram and people have been saying, Hey, I want to see a tutorial for this. So, I'll be hitting you up with that from my last video when I had the full-on glam going on. So, love y'all. Bye.